Great, thank you so much. Uh, my question is for Matt. Uh, you mentioned the similarities and also the differences between curiosity and perseverance. Uh, I'm curious how similar or dissimilar is entry, descent, and landing from what we saw with curiosity? And, and what is so different about perseverance's entry, descent, and landing and what we can expect tomorrow? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and throw this over to Al Chen. He is our EDL phase lead, and he'll, uh, he'll give you a rundown. Yeah, from the outside, the entry, descent, and landing system looks pretty similar to, to Curiosity, but there's a lot of uh, under-the-hood smarts, if you will. Um, there are two pieces of uh, new technology that are helping us land at this rugged site. Uh, the first is something we call range trigger. Uh, that's using the ability of the vehicle to know where it is to deploy the parachute. Uh, previously on Curiosity, we deployed the supersonic parachute just based on hitting a particular velocity. Uh, but this time, we're actually asking the vehicle to figure out how far she's flown since entry and deploy the parachute based on that. That uh, reduces the area that we're going to land in, that landing error uncertainty ellipse, quite a bit, uh, almost a factor of 10 in area uh, versus what we had promised for Curiosity. Um, the second major piece of uh, new technology that are, that's helping us land is terrain relative navigation. Um, so whereas on Curiosity, we took pictures after the heat shield came off, but didn't really do anything with them on the fly. They're kind of like, like tourist pictures in some sense. Uh, Perseverance will be taking those pictures and then matching them up with an onboard map based on images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. It'll use that, those, that, uh, that set of images it's taking and that map to figure out where she is. And based on that, then she can then fly to a nearby safe spot once she's done with the parachute and on engines. Uh, so that allows us to make sure that the, or to allow a site like Jezero where the whole landing error ellipse is not a giant flat parking lot. Uh, it's full of the stuff that the scientists want to see, but the stuff that I don't want to land on. Um, so that allows us to find little kind of small parking lots amongst those. Uh, so those are really pretty key technologies to help us land. Uh, there are also a couple of new uh, systems on board as well to help us understand what it's like to land. Uh, the first is that Medley 2 system. That's an upgrade of the uh, Medley system that was on uh, that was on Curiosity. And the second is an EDL camera system uh, that will also have a microphone. So we'll have a lot of uh, new imagery and high resolution imagery and high frame rate video of what it's like to actually land on Mars. So I'm really excited to hear and see uh, what landing on Mars uh, is really like. Absolutely. I'll just add, uh, I'll just add two, uh, two more uh, comments, which is there's a couple pieces of hardware which we've improved. Uh, since uh, Curiosity, and I'll just make mention of them. One is the heat shield. Uh, we found in our static testing of the heat shield that there were some strength vulnerabilities there, uh, and so we improved not only the design but the manufacturing techniques for that heat shield. The other significant one is the parachute, this big 70-foot supersonic parachute. Um, on one of the technology programs in, in uh, the Mars program uh, area, we found a potential vulnerability with uh, transient loading as that parachute is inflating and in different uh, configurations. And that led us to uh, conclude that we should strengthen the canopy of the parachute. That's something we did. And not only did we strengthen the canopy, but we took the parachute off and we did supersonic high altitude parachute testing uh, using sounding rockets out of the Wallops facility. It's a major test campaign, something that really hasn't been done in, in uh, more than 40 years. And uh, the team pulled it off successfully. So uh, a couple more differences there. Thank you, Al and Matt. And thank you, Chelsea, 